Okay, YouTube viewers and subscribers, the time has come for me to take a look inside this Weber engine. <clears throat> now, I did do a box to the bench review of this engine this morning and noticed the 13.6 prop didn't swing the same RPM as the other T460 that I had last week did. So I changed the timing belt configuration and I shot another video, I just haven't posted it yet with runs with the timing belt on one tooth this way and then one tooth off this way and needless to say I never achieved anywhere near 8,000 RPM on any run so this engine probably just has considerably more wear and run time on it so I'm going to tear it down and clean it up see if any bearings need to be replaced and just see what we got going on here now there's our carb I noted in the quick look that this has some rather strange fasteners on here so I've got a few different tools here that I'm hoping will aid me in getting these things out. Okay so those are off. Really small fine little screws for some reason. This gasket did come off so potentially could be used again. Get my magnifier on. Doesn't look like those holes or threads are damaged, but those are definitely not the stock. So the real interesting part is going to come when I remove the head and back plate because this is a 13 millimeter nut. And I'm not sure how I'm supposed to take that off because I really don't want to use this and the belt to actually hold it in place. So I'm not sure if that how that's going to come off. That's going to be a little bit more interesting there. Let's go to this back plate. The thing that's funny is I don't know why this bracket really has a slot. It's not like you can, this is variable at all, so why does this have a slot in it? Oh. Oh, that doesn't seem like that's going to want to just come right off. I'm probably going to have to heat this up a little bit and maybe tap it with a mallet. Well, let's try these Let's do this first. Let's slide this belt off. Okay, the belt's free. Let's try these head screws. Let's do the reveal on the head. Interesting. That piston top doesn't look not sure if I expected it to look like that or not. I kind of thought it might be a little darker. It's pretty easily clean there. Okay, now let's look inside here. What do we got here? I don't know if this thing just pulls out. I don't think it just pulls out. About the only thing I can think to do to maybe loosen that up is maybe stick a piece of wood in here to hold it firmly, but I'm not sure I really want to do that. Oh, this thing here turns too. Or does it? Yeah. I mean, the diagram shows that this is a screw. I would have to like get a dowel or a piece of wood or something. I don't want to put a piece of metal or anything in there to hold that. I would. Here's that same white stuff that was on the previous engine. Maybe that is from the factory. <coughs> Since the head is like this and the props here, and it rotates this way, that gives me the impression this is probably a reverse thread. So I'd have to turn it this way. 
loose now. Let me see if I've got a piece of wooden dowel that I can shove in there that'll I can hold and maybe loosen this thing up. Okay, so as far as this head goes and the rotating valve, I don't know how <coughs> excuse me to securely hold this and loosen that. I'm not sure if it's a right hand thread or what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow that off and we're just going to throw this in the ultrasonic cleaner like this and unfortunately the viewers and myself are not going to be able to see this vein or this rotary valve come out. So we'll just have to leave it at that. Okay so back to this. I did just kind of lay this on a piece of wood and I tapped it and I tapped the corner and I was able to get that to come off and of course this gasket is toast. So most of that's going to have to come off in the cleaner. So obviously this belt can't come off until all this stuff comes off and I have a feeling that's my sleeve there. Oh look at that. I didn't even have to heat it up, I just pushed on the sleeve and it's coming right out. So that's kind of cool. There we go. There's our sleeve. Now let's see if we can get just get this piston to come out. Gee, that sucks. It's just like a damn OS. You gotta extract it, the wrist pin through a hole. Shit. I really hate doing that. Actually, you know, these bearings feel great. I'm not even sure I really need to go down any further, although I did really kind of want to clean this up. These bearings feel fine. I wonder how easily, since everything else feels so good in there, I wonder if I could find a little screw or something that I could maybe get lucky with. Actually, kind of. Looks and feels like that thing might want to just come right out. I just need a, something a bit shorter, straighter. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this engine may be in much better shape than I thought. Wow, interesting. Is this a Dykes ring? The ring is right on the top of the piston like a Dykes ring, but I'm not sure it's L-shaped. Huh. Alright, well. This was quite cool. But I didn't have to do anything too difficult to get this thing out. Let's get that connecting rod off. Interesting. Not sure I'm seeing a chamfered in. Connecting rod is bushed. I guess this end is chamfered just a hair. Just have to be very wary of that because there's not any other kind of marking there oil holes. I'm not quite ready to put this in the cleaner yet. Uh, let's uh, move on to this. I've got my big big puller out here. This might go out of frame a hair as I try and I'm taking hardly any effort at all. I mean, I'm just turning it by hand and it's coming right off. Let's see what kind of shape our Woodruff key is in. Woodruff key is in fine shape.
Heck, with as good a shape as this thing is in, I wonder if I could just get lucky and crankshaft is coming out. Bearings are in good shape. Alright, so this engine is disassembled now. Shit, I didn't know I had that zoomed in so far, damn it. I'm sorry. May I just hose the video up now. Anyway, I do want to ultrasonic clean this. I'm not going to take these bearings out. I'm just going to let them in there. Look at this crankshaft. Now it's made for the belt to ride in there. Yeah, overall this engine is in fantastic shape really. Alright, so anyway, I'm going to put these parts in the cleaner and pick it up from there. <laughs> 